these bees are so calm. See, I got them down here without any um, pants on the, uh, the shorts. The uh, mosquitoes are starting to try to eat me up a little bit, and I, I don't. I do better with bee skin things than I do with mosquitoes. Here she goes. Cover the edge. Saw her very briefly. July 28th, uh, the short blue hive in the background back there that's opened up. Just want to show you what's going on there. That's one of the hives where I introduced the queen. I believe it was two mornings ago. That would have been Friday morning. It's Sunday right now here in my backyard. I've been watching them. I've never really observed this before. I'm going to show you. Let me go over there and I'll show you what, what's going on. So here it is. It's just like a little seven frame box that's really just kind of survived. Um, really for several years. I don't think it's ever died out. I think I put these boxes out here for the first time um, probably in 2014, maybe 2013 even. I think it was 20. I don't remember what year it was, but anyway, I made these little seven frame boxes as a trial. I had two of them here and uh, the other one, I actually have used this box a lot just to catch swarms in, but, or not this box, but another one just like it. I made two of them. The other hive, just kind of died out never did a lot and this hive has just kind of been just a mediocre hive it's just survived i don't think it's ever died out since it's been sitting here um but i put <clears throat> it barely made it through last winter hardly seemed to have any bees in it i, I might have put them in a, nuke, in a nuke for a little while i don't think i did i think i just left them in this box and i thought it was going to die out couldn't find a queen half the time not hardly any bees but they survived i think they replaced their queen I don't remember if they swarmed or not, but you can see there's probably about five frames of bees, four to five frames of bees, and they're usually a little bit feisty, but I just decided um, I want to give these bees a chance to really grow and be strong. They seem healthy. They seem happy. You can see occasionally they get a little aggressive but or defensive, but tonight they're really calm, um, but just I love just watching them. They're just kind of, you can kind of hear the little noises they make. You can smell them. Little antenna sticking up there. But if you see right there, there's a queen cage. The queen's in there. And I've never really watched this before or observed. I've never watched the bees digging her out before. But you can tell they've dug pretty deep down into that candy down there. And you just see one little bee tail sticking out there. And we'll just kind of focus in here for a minute, but uh, it's just kind of interesting to see how they do it. Um, when I first opened it up here, uh, there was a little bee down there like that, and I waited a while. And those other bees are just kind of waiting their turn. And when that bee gets done, she'll back out, I think, and another bee will go down in there. And I guess that's just how they clean that candy out to release that queen. It's kind of hard to see the way the, the um, cage is positioned in there, but the bees are down there tending to her. I kind of pulled it out earlier, and she's in there. She's alive. I think they're taking care of her. It's taking a while here. I don't know how long it's going to take for that little bee to get, it's, get tired of being down in there. But you can see those other bees are just kind of hanging out waiting. And earlier when a bee, just a few minutes ago, before I went and got my phone, my camera, when the bee that was down there got done, she just backed out. Another bee went down in. I don't know if they're trying to tell her to get out of there or what, but it's just kind of funny. Look at these bees, how calm they are, though. They're just so gentle and calm today. I actually um, bottled up some honey today in the five gallon bucket. Just had like a thin coat of honey on the inside of it, and I set it out here thinking the bees would be all over it to clean it up and there's one bee in there that's kind of drowned in the honey just a little little bit of honey in there but no other bees even showing interest in it that I've seen there might be one up on the bucket right now but usually if they're in a dearth they just are all over that honey so there must be something coming in around here I don't know now I gotta be kind of checking out my veil here I'm out here in shorts with flip flops and a t-shirt and a veil and those smokes. So if they get after me here, I'm leaning right over and they might be a little 
a little bit agitated. She is just taking her time down there getting that candy. I don't really know if they fill up with the candy or what they do, but a while ago when the bee backed out, she sat there beside the beside the cage, and I think she was cleaning off her little tongue or a little proboscis or whatever you call it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to witness this or not. I didn't think it would take this long for her to back out of there. Those other bees are waiting their turn. They're kind of like, come on, get out of there, girl. I've just never really witnessed this or seen exactly how they did it. I know they clean it out. But it kind of amazes me that the bees recognize, there she comes, she's coming out now, maybe. It just kind of blows me away that the bees recognize that the queen, she's coming out, she's trying to. There she comes, now she's out. Let's see what they decide to do. I'm guessing another one will go right down in there. Maybe. Maybe not with the lid off. I wish they would, so. A while ago, when that first bee came out, another one, they took a couple of them tried to go down there immediately. They're not really acting all that interested right now, maybe because I have the lid off, I don't know. They're camera shy or something. I don't know. Maybe they're a little camera shy because the lid's off the hive. But they just about now. They spin in here, what, let's see, one, two and a half days. And they about have the candy. I'm going to send it slowly. They about have it eaten down to the bottom. You can see that little bee was all the way down in there earlier. There we go. There goes a bee down there. And now she'll be in there for a while. And also something about this that I think is interesting, this old lid over here has been on here for probably that whole six or seven years. It's just gotten old. The front of it fell off, obviously. The front lip of the lid fell off. And I realized, really just barely, that I guess when I put the lid down because it's, it's uh, bowed some, I think I've been smashing some bees unknowing to me. I haven't paid much attention. So there are some kind of dead bees, I hate it, but there are a few dead bees over here. The bees are really kind of concerned about, it looks like they might, if you look right here, they might actually be kind of propolizing the bees, because I don't know, they may not be able to actually pull them out. But right here, they're real busy doing something with that dead bee right there. So we all know bees are very clean, they're very hygienic. You gotta put propolis on the hive, if you look over here, you can see it. And the way that other lid sat on there, it actually bowed up so there was probably a half inch to an inch on the front of the hive. So they had guard bees up there all the time as well. But I did go ahead and replace the queen that was in here. I just want to give them a chance to be stronger, maybe turn into more of a production hive. This is one of those queens from Pendale. Looks like they're happy with her. Maybe by tomorrow they'll have it released. I'm sure they will. By tomorrow after we're going to have to work. See all the bees down there working on it? And they just seem to take their turns one at a time and get it done. Just thought I'd take them in and just show you kind of what it's like inside a hive because these bees are so calm. Seeing I got them down here without any um, pants on, the, uh, the shorts. The uh, mosquitoes are starting to try to eat me up a little bit. And I, I don't, I do better with bee skin things than I do with mosquitoes. I'm feeling kind of itchy, so I think the mosquitoes are getting after me some and the gnats. So I'm probably going to sign off pretty quick here. The bees down here just totally calm. It's really a pleasant evening. It hasn't been too, hasn't been too crazy hot today. It's been warm for sure, but um, it's really kind of been a little break the last couple of days from the, usually the oppressive heat that we have in July. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's been mid to upper 80s, low 90s, but many times it's mid 90s to upper 90s with a lot of humidity and it. it. just seems that we've had a little bit of relief the last two or three days. But I think these bees, they seem totally happy. They're not really all that concerned about me sitting here without any, I do have a veil on, they've checked me out a little bit. I'm just more comfortable with that, but they haven't even made an attempt to sting me or aggressively make any aggressive moves towards me. Um, I've been very calm. They've been very calm. 
Um, I appreciate everyone who watched my videos. Um, it's just, uh, I just really appreciate my viewers all over the world. And uh, it's just kind of cool to be able to make these videos and show you kind of what's going on in my world. I know I do make mistakes and do things wrong sometimes, but that's just all part of the journey. I'm just so fascinated with these bees. These bees, and it's just one, it's just something I've been absolutely obsessed with since I got my first two hives back in 2013. I mean, it, they're just so fascinating to me. You can just see them all working together. It's cool stuff. I think I've rambled on long enough and kind of showing you what I wanted you to see. Just kind of how calm these bees are. Look at them looking up at me. Kind of all lined up against the frame. They're all just down there working, totally calm, doing their thing. And one last thing I'd kind of like to ask, I'm kind of curious about, is do you think that the genetics, when you put a new queen in a hive, does she have an immediate effect on their attitude when they begin to uh, um, adopt her pheromone, or does she have kind of control in that way, or do they have do the old genetics have to die out on the worker bees before they get nicer? Because it seems to me sometimes when I replace a queen in a in somewhat of an aggressive or defensive hive, that they seem to pretty much right away have a better attitude. Just your thoughts if you watched this video this far. I know it's gotten a little lengthy. Let me know your opinion on that. I really don't know um, what the answer is, but look at these bees. I'm not sure they would have been this calm with the other queen. Maybe they would have today because the weather's perfect and everything's going good. All right, it's June 29th, and the queen is still not being released. I just, they were almost all the way through the candy, so I just went ahead and kind of took the plug out or with a stick. I think the queen's still in there. I went inside for a minute to grab my phone to videotape him, but I just took a stick kind of like this, and I just poked it in the entrance very gently. I think she is still not pushing hard. I think she's still in there. I tilted it so that when she comes out, she won't fly out. She's getting after me a little bit. It's just hard to see. Here she goes. bees clumping behind the box right there. They're following her in. She finally decided to come out of there after waiting for a long time. She finally figured it out and she's down the hive now. I turn this off. We have this queen introduced. They seem to be happy. And we'll let it go. I'm going to shove that box down a little bit so they can just leave it in there for a few days. I don't want to disturb them anymore really. I guess I can take it out actually but I'll get it out. I'll check back, you know, later at a later time and uh, get the box out and make sure she's doing well. So that took a while. I'm not obviously I'm not gonna include all that in my video, mm -hmm. but I've been out here probably 15 or 20 minutes waiting for her just to come out of that daggum box. But she finally did and she's been introduced now. Alright, bye bye.